welcome to another episode of Inside the Beaker. My name is Christine Vu. I work here in the R&D lab at PCCA. Um, and today I have two fellow Brainiacs with me, um, Bernice and Stacy. Um, they're joining me here today because we're going to have a little bit of a derm chat. Um, we're going to have some demonstrations on a couple of dermatology formulas. Um, and we're going to talk about a, a couple of other things that are dermatology related. Um, like the R&D lab equipment that we use versus what you have in your lab um, to make creams and lotions and stuff. Um, so I'm making two formulas today. So while I get things um, a little set up here, um, why don't, um, Stacy? why don't you tell us about the formula? Unless we're going to be working on today. Okay, so as Christine mentioned, she's going to be making two things for you today. Uh, one of them is our formula number 8861, which is a clean lotion with jojoba oil. Uh, and it's an oil and water emulsion, and we like it because it's a really great moisturizer. Um, I don't know about you guys, but for the longest time I mispronounced it and was calling it like jojoba oil. Um, so Christine educated me on cosmetic ingredients and the correct pronunciation. Um, so that one's a really awesome formula. And we also, she's gonna show us after that, she'll show us uh, formula 10925, which is our lotion bar um, with coconut oil. Yeah. I love the lotion bars, they're amazing. I've seen them like in a few places and they have them packaged so cool in tins or in little, uh, what do you call it? Like the a chapstick, chapstick uh, kind of containers, yeah. and they're really cool. I love them, and I can't wait to see how you make them. Yeah, they're um, they're actually kind of cool. They're a little bit different um, than your typical lotions. Um, they're also great for travel, right, Bernie? Yeah. I think you said you had taken them on the plane one time because um, they're not a liquid. Um, it's a solid form. So, um, well, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I have here with me the clean lotion with jojoba oil um, that we're gonna make first. So jojoba comes from a shrub in the desert of California and Arizona. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> Another piece of education for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, I have here in my oil phase, um, this contains jojoba oil, glycerol monosterate, polyethylene glycol 400 monosterate, acetyl alcohol, and seared acid flakes. Um, and I did say seared acid flakes, like it notes on the formula. Um, we do have seared acid powder, and that does not work. Um, I tried it already. Um, and so you really have to do the flakes or it doesn't solidify correctly. Um, and then here in my water phase, I have preserved water and glycerin. And then my third phase, I have um, imagerea in water um, that's pre-dissolved, and that's our um, preservative phase. So um, I've already heated it up to, both of them are about 70 degrees, like it states on the formula. So I'll go ahead and mix this together um, in the homogenizer behind me. And I'll show you on my equipment, um, it's a little bit different than just using a stir bar um, because it helps you uh, make the particle size of your emulsion smaller and that helps with stability. about how long does that take that step um so it depends on the formula this particular one um because it's thinner um, and it has a good emulsifier in it it's only a few seconds you don't want to do it too long it'll fall start foaming mm -hmm. off so we'll just do this here and put this on the mixer and then we can get to talking about why this is different so if you don't have this equipment in your lab, there's other options for you. Right, um, so let me get this one here and then I'll talk about. So the formulas we've written, you're able to do it with the lab equipment that you do have in your lab, um, which would be the uh, stir, uh, like a hot plate. Um, so what you would need to do is you'll have both phases. You'll have to make maybe, like here I made um, 100 grams. So it may or may not work because this gets a little bit thick, um, but what you would need to do is have your spin bar spinning at a really high speed um, so that it creates a good emulsion. So what you wanna do is 
have your oil droplets and your water droplets very small so that they can kind of like marry each other because um, inherently emulsions are unstable so over time they will start to coalesce the oil likes the oil the water likes the water and, and then you'll have a separation um, but what the homogenizer does what I use behind me is it may it has a um, rotor stator so it makes all the particles run through there and it makes them very 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 small so that when they you know marry each other they kind of stay stable for for longer all that science. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So um, I have here. So what you would do is um, based on the formula. On um, this one, you'll just cool it all the way down, and then it, you can see it starting to get thicker. And you need to keep mixing it so that you can keep that emulsion um, staying stable. Um, but after that, you would be able to fill it. Um, and what we typically do is we would fill it in a mega pump or any other cosmetic type jar you have. And I do have one here already filled. Um, if you guys want to try that out. I love testing product. Here we go. Thanks. I like how it it definitely goes in nice and smooth. It has like a nice texture. Um, yeah, it's not oily at all. It's really nice. Right. Yeah, and it's a really light one. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely use it on your face. I mean, it doesn't have SPF in it, so you would put it like on top of your SPF on your face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can do that. It almost has like a little bit of a cooling effect. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, and it's not tacky or anything. I don't know. No. Maybe yeah. it's the texture of my skin today, but yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> no, it feels great. Um, also, you can, um, if you wanted to substitute jojoba oil for another type of oil, you can do that too. Um, but we haven't tested that on this formula. So, you know, it would have to be something that you would have to test um, and see how that works. Because some oils react differently um, in the formula. And then you can also add fragrances too. Um, and it makes it yeah. a little, you know, Yeah, I was gonna say, it doesn't have any smell, so adding a fragrance would be nice. Yeah, too. fragrance or an essential oil, um, if there's allergies or, or things like that, so. Yeah. Cool. Did you wanna show them up close, kinda how it did on yeah, your hands? Sure. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see it very well. I'll we'll try to do the best I can here. So it's a really nice, smooth cream. Um, let me add a little bit more just so you're, it's a little bit easier to see. Really nice, smooth cream, real nice texture, um, good viscosity. It just really just kind of melts into the skin. Okay, I put like a lot on there. <laughs> I put a lot, but you can see, and it kind of leaves like a little bit of a glow to your skin. It's really, really, really nice. It feels real nice and soft. So, could you wear something like this? You said over your. I would um, put it under your makeup, over your like. SPF or maybe a or... night cream, maybe. Yeah, okay. if you're Anything if you're like oily, that would be good since it's not too heavy. Yeah. But I put layers on my face. <laughs> <laughs> no. And it yeah. depends yeah. on people's nice, skin. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Some people have dry skin. skin. Some people have oily yeah. skin or whatever. Yeah. 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 Stacey, didn't you, um, earlier I heard you talking to someone about the C4 uh, specialist. Do you want to tell oh, them yeah. a little bit more about that? Yeah, so um, PCCA, in case you didn't know, um, we have a C4 specialist program, which is actually a specialist certification program um, for different uh, different specialties within your practice. So we have a dermatology um, in combination with wound and scar. So it's a derm, wound, and scar uh, specialist. Uh, designation and then we also have an HRT and a vet component as well so we have a lot of cool ways to really um, become more knowledgeable in certain areas um, that you can you know help bring value to your pharmacy and they can do some of that most of it is online right yeah it's got an online component um, so the C4 stands for comprehensive core concepts and compounding um, and so that's an online course that you take it's an at-home study and then uh, we mix that in combination with a live seminar too so you would take an at-home study uh, learn a lot of background and history about the particular um, specialty um, that you're interested in and then you would come attend a live event so we have a lot of information that our events team can give you and we'll go ahead and drop a link in the comments too that way if you guys are interested in knowing more y'all can uh, find out all the information and the dates and I know, um, I think uh, Bernice was uh, telling us earlier that one of the uh, top questions we get in the PCD department is, um, derm. is derm. derm. Um, so yeah. it would be good, you know, if you go to one of those seminars to get some marketing ideas and stuff like that, and then you can, you know, you can do that. 
So, okay, so next up we have lotion bars. Um, and I do, I like lotion bars because it's different. Um, you don't see those all the time. And like we mentioned before, it's good for traveling because it's not a liquid. Um, so, you know, it's kind of fun, it's kind of different. So let's get started here and let's make a lotion bar. So I have my uh, beaker and a stir bar. And then I'm gonna add my ingredients here. So I have, okay, add it on here. I have some shea butter. And then I have um, coconut oil. So it's kind of a solid, right? I think it has a low um, melting point. So depending on the temperature in the room, it can be half yeah. and half. It's just, yeah, semi-solid. So if it's a solid, um, you can just use the hot water bath to heat it up in your lab and make it a liquid if you prefer. Yeah, it's melting. Yeah. It's melting quickly. <laughs> melting quickly. And then I have, um, the formula also has some beeswax. And finally, uh, vitamin E acetate to prevent um, oxidation. So you would just heat that up, but I do have some already heating here um, and it's up to temperature. So we brought it up to about 65, 70 um, until it's all liquefied. So that's kind of how it looks like when it's fully liquefied. So let me um, show you. Um, we use like, there's like this small little deodorant um, stick, I guess it is, yeah. um, and then chapstick too. So the, we have um, large ones and small ones. I kind of like the big one because it's more lotion, you use more of it. Um, yeah. And then you would just fill them up. Um, and then to this, you can also add, similar to the other one, like fragrance oils. Um, so then it would be, it kind of have a nice scent or essential oil. So you just kind of fill it up. But I do have some that um, have already solidified. I like this. It's really easy because you just pour it right into the applicator stick and then just leave it to congeal at room temperature. So I, you I think it's... You can set it and forget it. Yeah, kind of, <laughs> yeah set it and forget it yeah. like something. Like jello. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like jello. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, this is great. This is a little bit more... I guess thicker than the clean lotion, but it's not thick like. Yeah, it it's just doesn't... it's yeah. more moisturizing. I remember when I first tried to describe this, they were like, "Does it kind of just ooze out of the <laughs> chapstick?" But it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, let me see if you guys can see it um, very well, yeah. but yeah, kind of like a chapstick. But yeah, it's a little very similar to a chapstick it's, or deodorant, yeah. and it's just more uh, more moisturizing. Yeah. Definitely, you can feel it. Because of the wax, maybe? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Really nice. And it has, um, the shea butter also helps with the moisture. Yeah. yeah. Shea butter and coconut oil. And yeah. Very I nice. really like this. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I think we're out of time. Yeah, we're out of time. That was fun, though. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> fun to make stuff to make us mm -hmm. look pretty or to help keep us, keep our skin in check. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So... Yeah, thanks for joining us. Yeah, and then, um, don't forget to check out more information on C4. And so we'll see you next time on Inside, Inside the, the Beaker. Beaker.